Ooh. <laughs> Welcome to Draga, where we tell a dumb story. With even dumber drawings? I am, of course, your drawing master, Caldwell Tanner. This is very somber. I'm <laughs> Nathan, your halfling rogue, Lexi Shortstack. I'm very Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> also, Regina. Wonderful, wonderful. The Bone Mage. Hey, it's Julia. I'm here. How's it going? No matter how dire things may get, you can always count on Roxa. We are in a bit of a rut here, friends. A bit of a dire stretch. Uh, last I checked, y'all were hurtling through space, having been pulled through a portal. Uh, and I know you're all ready to find out what is popping on the other side of this portal. But uh, first, how about a quick recap? Yeah, I guess. All right. Uh, I'll make it quick. Uh, can I get a quick recap clap? One, two, three. I clapped. I clapped early. Terrible. I didn't know you were going to count. I didn't know you were going to count. I didn't know this count. was a group activity. That's okay. <laughs> I we don't have time for longer things. bits. Let's get right to it. We've got shit to do. When last we met, you three had been tricked by Francis into serving as the key to a dimensional gateway. As the power surged through your perfect, harmonious friendship link, you found yourselves in a strange void. And also, you found Daryl, the goblin inventor who was once believed to be dead, but is now very much alive. After bringing him back from the abyss and into the observatory chamber, he cryptically explained that there was something else inside the portal and that it was finally waking up. Moments later, Porfo the Devourer burst through the portal and began clawing its way into your reality. Daryl then explained that the only way to defeat Porfo was by lulling it back to sleep. And so you three set to work. Regina, with the help of your old dwarven friend Tiffany, you composed a holy rocking lullaby while Legsy captivated the beast with a lengthy, surprisingly interesting hollow point lecture. These distractions gave Roxa and the newly reskinned Demon Johnny all the time they needed to engineer the ultimate punch, which upon delivery knocked Porfo out cold. Before you could celebrate, however, hundreds of Porfolings emerged from Porfo's skin and began to attack. Luckily, Francis had already called for backup, and moments later, all your old friends, plus your dads, showed up in a hoofer and began absolutely wrecking shit. During the chaos, your dad started pushing the now-concussed Porfo back through the portal, while you three helped Daryl to reopen the portal and send the beast to a faraway reality where it wouldn't be able to harm Samwerica ever again. However, right as your dads were about to dispatch Porfo for good, its eyes lit up and a strange rune appeared on its forehead. With one powerful swipe, the demon sent your dads flying, grabbed you three, and receded through the portal. And that is where we are now. Sure is. That was uh -huh. an action-packed episode. <laughs> a lot went on there. <laughs> a lot happened, huh? It's, yeah. It's like a finale or something. Who's ready for more things to happen? Me. Me. All right. As you are pulled through the portal, you look back and you see an army of porflings blocking the gateway from the other side. After floating for a few minutes in the void of space, you land on an asteroid and take in your surroundings. Up above you, swirling around a milky conglomeration of stars, shading you from this galaxy's sun with its massive form, is the lifeless body of Porfo. Oh. Oh no. He died? Its eyes have gone dull, but the strange rune on its head still thrums with a fiery energy. You're not sure what happened to Porfo. Maybe it can't breathe in space? <laughs> Actually, that's a good question. How can you breathe in space? Uh, I'm just doing uh, it, man. <laughs> I'd never tried before, so maybe I always could. You can breathe because I will it so. Oh, dang. Spooky voice. You hear a voice in your head. It appears to be coming from Porfo, but its mouth isn't moving. Now you shall know my will in full. As these words echo through your skulls, you look up at Porfo and see that the sigil on its forehead is glowing so bright you can barely look at it. The shambling form of Porfo stands up straight and begins quivering. Suddenly, its tuft of hair bursts into flames, and a seam of light emanates from the rune, dividing the beast perfectly in half. <gasps> the lifeless twin halves of Porfo flop to the side as a strange entity emerges. Buh. Oh. Oh. I am Erasus, the Undoing. Sorry, you're what? Erasus. Er erasers? Erasus. <laughs> that has a that little like tough to pronounce. 80s, that was an 80s band, I think. Erasmus? Er Eras Erasus? Erasmus? That you're thinking of Erasmus. <laughs> I am Erasus, the Undoing. You may call me what you wish. As the three who opened the gate, I grant you the privilege of hearing my tale. 
Long ago I was but a humble god. I delighted in filling the void of my universe with life and creation. But eventually I filled every parsect of existence with my craft. Not content to simply rest and watch as my worlds grew, I created the Devourers and dispatched them to other realities. Their task was to erase everything in the dimension, thus creating a blank canvas upon which I could create once more. Now I shall not rest until I have made all of existence into a shimmering white void upon which my creative output may flow. You three, however have shown much determination. I shall let you watch from the safety of this realm as I unmake your world. So you're just having like art block? Having like a rough creative time? No! I mean, I get that. That happens to everybody. No, I just need to see the white canvas of infinity splayed out before me. Once I created a masterpiece, and I shall create a masterpiece again. Yeah, it can be tough to live up to your past successes. I get how that is. I am the god of a universe once, and I shall become the god of infinity. Is it just me, or does this guy look kind of like a melty Bingus? (laughs) (laughs) What is Bingus? Can we call him Bingus? (laughs) I am Erasmus! You said to call you what we will. (laughs) Very well. I am Bingus the Undoing. (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) My creative flame shall never be extinguished. I shall paint my creation across all of existence, all realities. And you may watch as it unfolds. Through this portal lies your world. I shall send my devourer through it and wipe your universe clean while you watch from the safety of this realm. Wait, your devourer is split in half. I mean, yes, but like I can fix it. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I am a god of oh, creation. Right, no, I you, am bingo! No, you did you did mention that. I'm sorry. I <laughs> I was distracted by (laughs) your giant fleshy pink form. (laughs) Does this form not please you? It's fine. It's not not super. I don't want to. It is immaculate. I don't want to judge. I don't know about immaculate. (laughs) It is perfection. What would you have me look like? One that just talks a little less. Like there's just a lot of words happening so far. Very well. I shall provide a screenplay for you. Oh, reading. Perhaps a podcast. Uh, pod- yeah, you know, I can do podcasts. I shall give you spark notes. <laughs> I'll do a podcast. Yeah. All right. So uh, three um, little earbuds appear in your ears, um, and Bingus explains uh, their plan, which is, of course, to uh, send out their devourers or porfos into every realm of existence, uh, and slowly, one by one, uh, hop from existence to existence, taking over and wiping everything clean. That sucks. Yeah, I'm not a fan that, of that. That plan sucks. You know that, right? What do you mean? Well, it's just like there are already people living there and yeah. in, in those realms. They are inferior. What I make shall be ten times a thousand times as beautiful. For I am the greatest artist the world, all worlds I've ever known. You know, there are like two sort of ways you can go about creating good art. And it's like one is to just sort of make your own thing and the other is to try and tear down other people's stuff and seems like you know it's it's maybe easier to do the second one but it's not as fulfilling you're not, you're not gonna feel good about what you're doing you three are quite obstinate yeah we've yeah we told do that, that. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of our thing yeah very well as the three who opened the gate i shall humor you if you think your world is so beautiful so worthy of saving then show me Show me what it is about your existence that makes it worth living. Show me what it is about your existence that makes it worth preserving. So uh, as Bingus, uh, the undoing, (laughs) says this. I don't know what I expected. (laughs) As uh, the undoing says this, um, three... Flowing scrolls and golden pins appear before you, uh, and Bingus waves their massive hand and says, Show me. Show me what it is about your world 
that makes it so precious and beautiful. Nice. And for your drawing challenge, show me why the world of Somewhereica and beyond is worth saving. Aww. Oh, what a cute challenge. Yeah, what that's a, sweet. What a heartfelt challenge. Yeah, Bigus ain't such a bad guy. I bet, I bet we're gonna change his mind yeah, for we'll sure. Get him. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the mind of Bingus is stone. <laughs> Looks and more like flesh be... or something. <laughs> stone flesh. Fair enough. Should Hard as a rock, soft as a mother's touch. <laughs> um, gross. <laughs> I mean, a mother's touch isn't gross, but when you say it like that, it's... That's just how I talk. Yeah, I know. I just wish you wouldn't say mother's touch. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Soft as a daddy's touch. <laughs> better. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> it's better. So, uh, these golden pins float before you uh, as you prepare for your final, final task. Let's roll initiative. Ooh. Oh, baby. Thirteen. That's what I got Ooh, last time. Seventeen. <laughs> wow. Great. Think you're big, huh? No, I'm little. I'm Legsy. I got fifteen. Legsy, do you want to go first, or you want to defer? Uh, it's a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. but it it's actually it seems to be the the less pressure the earlier you go. Yeah. Because you know, I want to I want to set. The rest of the guys up for success. So I'll, I'll go first. Be the legs of our final challenge. Yeah. 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 Aw, that's beautiful. Give us a yeah. strong stance. And I think that is your role within this friend group. Yeah. All right. So get to it. So some just something about the world that's that's worth. Can I get some information about like what what this guy's into a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> like what, what sort of angle to take with him? Like, what do, do you, you want? Like my deviant art profile? Yeah. What do you What do you like? Because we we probably got it in some Werica, To be perfectly honest with you, you know, I like uh like breakfast food. Oh, you do. And like I don't know, um, you know, anime movies. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, Invader Zim and like <laughs> <laughs> these are all things I don't know about Invader out. Zim. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if that's something that exists. Taking back Sunday, you know. Okay. Just listening to music. You're just you're just listing things that exist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the ennui one feels when they unmake an entire reality. Oh, you like that feeling? I love that. Okay. That's kind of my jam. Well, that's like drugs to me. Okay. <laughs> drugs. I also like drugs. So you like a lot of the stuff that we've got in in this world. Yeah, like apple cider. Um, oh, the the final gasp of breath that a neutron star takes before dying. I like that a lot. Do you sure. have that here? I, I haven't experienced that one, but I'm it does sure, sound pretty rad. I'm sure that happens. The yeah. heat death of an entire galaxy. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, a sentient planet uh, slowly falling into a black hole and screaming out for a love it never knew. It's, it's getting a little darker yeah. mm -hmm. from where you start. You start I with like, breakfast food. I like food. breakfast food. <laughs> and also baby bell cheese. Oh yeah, for oh, those sure. are, those got, are nice. back, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's fun because you peel them off and it's like a little wheel. <laughs> <laughs> you truly possess multitudes, Vingus. <laughs> and uh, you know, if our whole world has to be destroyed by any cosmic entity, I'm glad it's you. <laughs> You're not so bad yourself. What was your name again? I'm Legsy. I don't think we get formally introduced. I. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm Legsy. These are my friends, uh, Regina and Rox. Uh, yes, hey. you three, your perfect link allowed my devourer to come through. I owe you much. Yeah, so that's also something you could owe us to by not destroying our home. Oh, but I love watching homes be destroyed. Yeah, but what about breakfast? Hmm. How breakfast. you like how you liking <laughs> these how you liking these pancakes? <laughs> How are you liking the look of these pancakes I'm drawing? What for is you? that weird little house on top? What is that melty house? That's what is that melty yellow house? You've never heard of butter? Mm, <laughs> what is butter? Oh, that's the butter's gonna get it. Butter, <laughs> Legsy. Butter's really good. Make this guy a pancake with some butter on it, and you're in. I have traveled through the cosmos. That's crazy. I that have you ravaged <laughs> thousands of tried. galaxies. And you haven't tried butter? <laughs> Tell me what is the tiny gold brick? <laughs> 
you you've had baby bell <laughs> cheese but you, so you're aware of dairy products <laughs> it's very strange like you know gap. that dairy products exist but you haven't had butter like imagine baby bell cheese but mm, like i'm imagining now like, you know how cheese has that slight sort of tart flavor because it's it's fermented it's it's like uh it's they're, i they're know like well the, the tartness yeah so imagine it's just the creaminess Imagine it's just that dairy creaminess, but none of the none of the tartness. Just the dairy creaminess. And you just and you can spread it. You spread it on on carbs. You can spread it on like a, a pancake <laughs> or a toast. You can even put it on like a potato if if you're feeling nasty. Bingus is intrigued. You can put it on vegetables <laughs> if you're if you're trying to eat healthy but not too healthy. You can put some butter on like your your broccolis or your peas. Bingus does not like peas. <laughs> Yeah, I don't either, but have you tried peas with butter? Obviously, you haven't because you don't know what butter is. <laughs> is butter the small yellow brick there? Yeah. Very well. I feel like it's taking you a long time to grasp this concept <laughs> considering you made everything. Listen, the Bingus is of a singular mind, and they're, they're having it blown by the existence of... It's crazy that you like breakfast, but you ha butter is so essential for so many breakfast foods, I feel like. In the all that I have made and unmade, I have never experienced this butter. We're gonna do three eggs. for Three eggs! Yeah. <laughs> never in all of existence have I seen three eggs! <laughs> Where have you been? What's going on, man? <laughs> oh, maybe... What, uh, no, I made a cool universe who just never... We just couldn't do three eggs. You just couldn't do three eggs. Just We did two eggs easy, but three eggs? Come on. You just do a third egg, is the thing. <laughs> Your world is intriguing. I'm gonna do a roll to see how Bingus is feeling about this breakfast. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Bingus is feeling six about this. <laughs> so I think that- What if I add another slice of bacon? Whoa! I shall roll with advantage. 11. Yeah, okay. there we go, that's above average. Bingus the undoing inhales this breakfast. You see a small little mouth Get some forms uh, kind of on this like long shaft of their body um, and they just go, oh, oh, that's quite good. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. They make a lot of yummy noises yeah. and they say, very well, the first of you has passed. Perhaps there is more to this world than I know. It just it's gets it's served on like a plank. There's not even a plate <laughs> big enough to hold. This is this is called my um this is this is something I've been working on uh for for Eggsy Short Stack, my uh my my sort of dream breakfast uh restaurant that uh was introduced in the uh Dennis Date episode. Den d d dates with with Destiny. Take a look back. It's a real fun time. Yeah, it's a good time. <laughs> um this is a beautiful spread. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's actually exactly what Bingus says uh, as they eat it. Uh, it says, well, yeah, that's pretty good. Regina. What's up? What do you and Roxa think about <laughs> this scene that's unfolding here? Gina's just like, there's there's nothing better Legsy could have picked. Like, Legsy's <laughs> breakfast is maybe the only reason that I get up in the morning. Oh. Otherwise, I would get up in the afternoon, no doubt. Naturally, I'd get up in the afternoon. But you're, when I smell that bacon and eggs, forget about it. You're telling me you have this feast every day? <laughs> every day Legsy's around. <laughs> Instead of Blart Sun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blart Hole Sun, won't you come deliver me some eggs? Oh, Amazing. yeah. Amazing. Oh. Um... Yeah, and I mean, like this. This is sort of like uh, they got a little abstract at the end. Oh, sure. Uh, because this is I was how trying to feel. I was trying to capture a feeling, mm -hmm. and um, I never got to make Blart breakfast, but oh. uh, it's something I hope to do if our world still exists when <laughs> when we're done with this. So uh, maybe this is something that could happen if you and your infinite wisdom, oh, oh great Bingus, mm. were to spare our existence. So you see, Bingus takes your drawing and transforms it into a real pile of breakfast oh. and lifts it up to this tiny crack that's appeared on their facade, put it inside, and they just go, pretty good. Pretty, are you, is this guy kidding me? Unbelievable. It's more than pretty good. <laughs> I find it scrummy. 
It is definitely scrummy. <laughs> I would eat this again. Mmm, yes. Very well. I have been swayed, but not convinced. Fair enough. Don't worry. My friends are going to draw even better stuff. We shall see. Now, who is next? It me. Roxa. Roxa, you ready to go? It me. So Roxa steps up. This flaming entity, this creator and destroyer, stands before you, their eye flaming with judgment. What do you do? Uh, it's upsetting that I can't punch him. I'm not allowed to punch him, right? You could punch him. You could try. I, I'd be interested to see what would happen. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that would really teach him about the. <laughs> could I punch the Bingus? The joys of <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the philosophical question of our age. Am I allowed to punch? Forget, can you pet the dog? Can you punch the bingus? Yeah. <laughs> can you punch that what gave you the ability to punch? <laughs> mm. Could God create a boxer so strong that it could give even him a big owie? <laughs> 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 Dang, that's like the sort of stuff that Tiffany has to ponder at church camp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we get into real philosophical stuff. We're questioning God all the time, y'all. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, did you come through the portal? With us? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kind of shouting through this wall of babies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I can kind of hear what's going on over there. It sounds uh, pretty wild. Yeah, it's pretty wild over here. <laughs> Roxa, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, it's all good. <laughs> Are cool. We, hey, uh, DJ, do you think I can punch the bingus? Do you think that's advisable? Hmm. Is this like a question you should ask me in private? Uh, <laughs> 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 Gina and Lexi high five. <laughs> It's nice that nice. he's like down for it though. <laughs> like he's he's open to he's having the conversation. Discuss. Yeah, it's like <laughs> if that's what you're into, <laughs> as long as we have a safe word. <laughs> oh, so Bingus is also the name of this weird entity. Well, Got we, it. We called him that and he agreed. Yeah. He, his original name was like Eraserhead or something. Nice, as a prank you did that, huh? Yeah, we yeah. did we pranked the we pranked this guy. <laughs> what is a prank? There are no pranks in my universe. Well, There's only order. Well, see, that's another thing yeah. that, you, that you're missing out on is some good goofums. Explain to me what a prank is. A okay, prank's so like a really good compliment that we gave you because we like you so much. Very yeah. well. <laughs> so it's like we did, a, we did a prank to you, which means we gave you a really cool good name that everyone will both love and fear equally. Thank you. Wonderful. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, that's exactly right. DJ, we got him again, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, double Your prank. tone has changed. You were sincere before, and yet now. <laughs> no, that's that's because we respect you so much. Yeah. Why are you pointing at my chest? Is there something on my chest? Yeah, hold, th you got a little something. Uh, <laughs> do you? Do, how, how's this gonna work? Yeah, you got a little, you got a little something on your chest there, man. Uh, what? Uh... When I create universes and destroy them, often there is debris involved. Perhaps it is some remnant, some dust of a former galaxy. Let me inspect. I yeah, oh, you just oh, turned out. Oh, oh, I poked you. Uh, that's that's a type of prank that is a sign of great respect. <laughs> yeah, only for our greatest leaders do we reserve that prank. Such depths of love exist in this universe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Did you call me idiot? Is my name idiot now to you? No, Very it's, well. It's still Bingus. It's forever Bingus. <laughs> you could be idiot Bingus if you want. <laughs> <laughs> so it shall be. I am the idiot Bingus. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're doing great. We're doing a great. Yeah, I gotta say, if we're going out, I'd love to be go out like this. <laughs> what are you doing, Roxas? <laughs> Roxas uh, just sitting on top of a, a vehicle, having a, a van, having a munch. It's our van. Is it the Vanguard? <gasps> it's the Vanguard. The Vanguard. The van All we from took our road our, trip. Our road trip in before college. You can wow. read more on Dropout.tv. Wow. Burm, 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 burm. <laughs> Aww. Is this just a happy memory? Yeah, it's um, something that Roxa really enjoys, uh, even more than punching, mm -hmm. is hanging out with friends. Aww. And that's cool. Aww. Except Roxa Aww. cannot remember how anyone's hair do. <laughs> 
So here we go. Well, our hair was different when we were on when we were doing the road trip. Um, That's true. Mine was longer than that. It was mm-hmm. like shoulder length cut, not a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> it was sort of like poofy. It, a, it was a little poofy right. on the side. I'm gonna just uh, make something up. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah give her a baseball cap. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I'm gonna give her like a little beanie. You oh, fool. Nice. To think that I don't know what friends are. I've made thousands of friends for myself back on my home galaxy. But none of them respected you enough to prank you? No. They bow before me and worship me 24 hours a day oh, like friends a, do. That's not a prank. That's not really a friend situation. It sounds, like they, it sounds like they fear you. Yeah. Has anyone ever just like gotten on your level and like talked to you? Yeah, have you feared anyone? Have you bowed before any of your friends ever? I am millions of feet tall and... Countless aeons old. Yeah. Yeah, but but like one guy. Yeah. Which guy? <laughs> Le- Lancis. Oh, Lancis. <laughs> well, to tell us about Lancis. <laughs> he was my prophet to my people on my on my world. Of course, I had to kill him when he was in unfaithful. Oh dang. <laughs> yes. You well, know that's how not it really is. friendly either. Do you re- do you regret that? Nah. Okay. <laughs> I don't think you know what friendship is. I don't, you know, I don't mean to come out strong here, but perhaps not. It's based on like a mutual understanding and respect, where you kind of, uh, you know, communicate openly with each other and and don't fear retaliation. That sounds like hot bullshit. Why would I do that? <laughs> well, then you're not uh, completely alone. Hmm. Like you know, this sort of like deep emptiness you feel that's causing you, that's sort of driving you to want to destroy so that you can create, so that you can destroy, so that you can create. The suffering, yes, it is what <laughs> makes me a good artist. Yeah, but like, what if, what if you were happy? What if you like decided to be happy? What instead? is happy is happy butter. Happy Honestly. is, happy and butter are pretty close. Yeah. So, so remember when you ate my, uh, my drawing? Yes, it was very scrummy indeed. So that's like, that's kind of like happy. It's That's true that like, when I ate that, I felt good and warm inside. Yeah, so like imagine that, but like for all your feelings. Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to feel bad all the time. No. Have you ever, like in all your creations, made uh, like a therapist <laughs> <laughs> that maybe you could talk to? Like I, I know, you know, a lot of there's, this, there's like a stigma around it sometimes, but I think it would really be good for you to, to have someone to talk to about sort of these feelings you have. Well, my followers sometimes make golden idols in in kind of a approximation of me and what they think I look like. Is that a therapist? That's not. No, that's not it at all, unfortunately. I don't understand. What is this beautiful drawing? So hanging out with friends, you know, having having those special memories that you, you keep, like the time that we all went to the, the drive-in, but we couldn't afford it because, as, as per usual, we don't have money. So we just acted out the movie as we uh, listened in. We just like parked on that hill by the drive-in movie theater, you know, the, yeah, that, do you remember that? that? That sheer cliff yeah, yeah. right next to the drive-in. Yeah. Curious. Yeah. So we parked on top and we acted out that movie. It's fun, it's fun to have friends. That was a good time. Yeah, yeah. You see a, uh, a small tear starts forming in the one burning eye in the center of Bingus the Idiot's massive frame. And they touch this drawing with their flaming hand uh, and it becomes real. And you see this vision of you and your friends as uh, high school students from that summer before you started college. Just goofing around, like just shooting the shit and kind of wasting time in the way that kids do when they have nothing better to do. And you see that Bingus the idiot just starts kind of like, ho, 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 ho. I think he likes it. Aww. <laughs> oh, it's pretty funny. He's got a sweet laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever laughed before, Fred? It's like a joke, but only for them. <laughs> 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 what is happening to my insides? <laughs> <laughs> what is this echo that comes forth? I think you're feeling you're feeling good. You're Imagine feeling... if you had, you know, people to share these experiences with. You're feeling friendship. Friendship seems tight. <laughs> It's pretty tight. It's tight. It's tight as hell. <laughs> Tell me more. How can we become friends? Show me. I think we're doing it now. I think we're, I think we're becoming friends. We're a sharing, bit. you know, personal stuff with each other, talking about our past and and seeing where we where we line up. Yeah, and you know, a, a thing that uh, friends definitely don't do is destroy uh, other friends' whole entire uh, worlds. 
Okay, so that's one theory. I got it. Yeah, that's one. Just I just something to think about. <laughs> I shall consider this. Yeah. As we witness one last drawing. Man, Rox, I'm so glad you remember this. It was a fun time. This is so sweet. It's just that you remember so little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad this one was in there. Yeah. Aww. I only remember the things that are important. Um, <laughs> like this. Well, debatable. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate it. This is genuinely nice. <laughs> this is really sweet. I just wanted a, a nice little hangout drawing. And if I could. All right. Wait. Wait. I yeah. saw it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Very well. Perhaps perhaps friendship is the key to happiness amidst an infinite void. Friendship and breakfast. Yeah. Those sound pretty good. Yeah. A classic combo. And yet, there is one more ingredient. You, horned one. That's me. Come forth and show me what it is that your galaxy can provide. Yeah, let's go. So, Regina, you see Bingus the Idiot kind of... <laughs> Looks at <laughs> <laughs> you laugh even as you say my name. Yeah, because we're such good friends. Yes, it is, it is what they call an inside joke. Yeah, and we are all on the inside laughing. Exactly <laughs> at the emptiness within ourselves. Yep. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you you keep getting so close. <laughs> is the thing. So, what could you possibly show me? that this galaxy has. I have already seen butter and friendship. <laughs> what more could there possibly be? You see that Bengus the Idiot is like, getting a little frantic at this point. They are feeling less certain about what they thought about the way that the universe worked, especially about like what they've made. So you have to understand that Bengus thought that they created essentially the perfect world and sought out to just like remake all other worlds in that image. But you've shown Bengus the Idiot yeah, the all powerful. Then maybe they were wrong. Yeah, that like maybe just just things that one person thinks of aren't necessarily the only thing. There are other things. Perhaps teamwork truly does make the dream work. Oh yeah, <laughs> it it rhymes. So. I came up with that. I'm very creative. <laughs> you sure seem like it. I'm a real creative type. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, see that Bingus is now wearing a beanie. Oh, look at that. <laughs> You can just summon a beanie whenever you want, huh? I thought about this. This is I invented beanies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally. No, I didn't see this anywhere else. You didn't just see it in the drawing no. that Broxa just did. <laughs> he had, had Regina wearing one. It looks very similar to that one, but you, you came up with this one. I made it. <laughs> you should be very proud of yourself. Thank you. Yeah. So what are you going to present? Bingus the idiot. Uh, I got to do a bit of drawing before I get there. Okay. So. Let's riff. Um, Let's riff some more. So Bingus the idiot. Yes. Uh, is is that is it cool if I just call you Bingy? That is my name. Do wear it out. Okay. So like, how many worlds have you destroyed? At Countless. This point? Countless. Okay. Do you remember like your first world that you destroyed? Very well. What was it, that one like? It was cold, harsh, and lifeless. Oh. It was full of gray beaches. Oh. Mm. And PowerPoints. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> and beans. And beans. Yes. Jelly beans or just regular? Regular beans. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like you're just making this up on the spot. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know. <laughs> I've seen infinite worlds with infinite combinations. All of them sucked. Yeah, so it, it's possible that you just like all the worlds you destroyed just sucked, and you ours is the first world that doesn't suck. One of them was only clowns. Okay, that sounds fine. One of them was roller coaster world. That sounds cool. <laughs> that what, sounds what, rad. Why you yeah. destroyed roller coaster world? <laughs> <laughs> what was wrong with Roller Coaster World? Dangerous. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Probably pretty dangerous, I you guess. You can get, yeah, unless unless you have, like, rigorous safety standards, you can you can really... I will remake Roller Coaster World better than ever. It shall be my world. My name shall be emblazoned upon this world. Are there still roller coasters? 
Or are they more of those like kid rides that kind of follow on a little track and go a little bit slower? It shall be teacups. It's only <laughs> all the way down. Just an entire world full of teacups. <laughs> Spinny teacups, yes. Safe and oh, fun. Oh god, you, <laughs> you get so nauseous. Because like at least the roller coasters, you get that like adrenaline boost of when it like you go up the the big ramp and then you get that drop off. But teacups, that's just spinning. I like spinning, much like the galaxies that comprise. The ecosystem of my body. I, too, enjoy spinning a lot, <laughs> round and round. Well, just make sure you, you leave enough time after you eat breakfast before <laughs> you go on the teacups. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> so you keep chatting yeah. uh, with Bingus, with Bingy about all the worlds they've uh, consumed, and it seems like a good portion of them were pretty good, and you get kind of the sense that maybe Bingy was motivated less by a desire to make things better and more by maybe yeah. a sense of jealousy about uh. the other creations that exist out there. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Mm-hmm. Bingy, you said you were one of the like one of the gods originally. Indeed. What uh, what happened with that? Where where did all the other gods go? Well, we all met at God School. Uh huh. And we learned how to create the universes and stuff. Yeah. And they all you know went on and got like cool jobs making universes. Yeah. And I, you know, moved back home and just kind of, you know, made my own universe in my garage. Okay, I see. And- Is that ours? (laughs) No, no, no. (laughs) Your universe is the domain of a much greater being. That is why I had to create the Devourer to sneak in unaware. I see. By using, by relying upon the machinations of those that exist within the realm to bring me here via the dimensional portal, I was able to skirt around the all-seeing eye of your grand ruler. So please don't fucking tell them I'm here. (laughs) I don't even know how to get in contact with them. Yeah. (laughs) Okay, good. So we're cool. Uh, I mean, we'll be cool if you don't destroy our world. Well, don't fucking call the cops on me then, huh? Listen, we're not snitches. (laughs) We are not snitches. Just let me, I'm just gonna come in here, destroy your world. No, you're not gonna destroy our world. And I'll be gone. No, don't destroy our world. It'll be fine, it'll be cool. It's not, it's not. And maybe I'll, you know, that pancake thing, pretty neat, maybe I'll put it in next time. No, you just, just keep the one we have. Mm. Hmm. Bingus, I, I hate to interrupt this thrilling conversation that you two are having. But I, I just want to point out, you know, you'll you'll notice here on my golden tablet or whatever it is you gave me. Yes, your um, immaculate was, scroll of a construction. Scroll, a scroll yeah. of golden pen. Yeah, was, golden pen, golden tablet, whatever. Um, you'll notice I've drawn, uh, it's it's us three. Us three friends, right? You three. But uh, I, I want you to watch this last part very closely. Mm. What's this? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. who that? <laughs> Who's this? Who that is? Oh, is this our newest friend? I think this might be our newest friend. Is this friend. our newest friend guess? who's our friend because he didn't destroy our Who's our, our friend home? because he didn't, it me? didn't destroy our home? Bingus, it you. He didn't destroy it our me. home and everything we love. Here's your whole like melty <laughs> uh, Bingus bod that you have. <laughs> um, oh, amazing. And and you're here and, and, and look, we're oh. all having like a nice, like we're making some jokes and we're talking. <laughs> Squad and we're goals. We're making in, new inside jokes uh, with, with you. Hey, you guys remember that time I almost destroyed the entire universe? I do remember that time, <laughs> but thankfully you didn't. And, and we got to all hang out and laugh about it. I think I understand what a prank is now. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh, no. Oh, 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 come oh. on, Vegas. <laughs> I love you guys. I would never destroy this universe. Yay. Is, wait, is that real or is that a prank? Yeah, which is the prank? No now? pranks anymore. Great. Here, see? My hands aren't crossed. He pulls out. Two gross hands oh. reveals that they are uncrossed. See? Uh, he, he splits his fingers <laughs> across a universe. <laughs> not crossed at all. Oh, look at those hands. Oh, they're not so bad. I they're kind of mm, grabby yeah. and tickly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I have to thank you, girls. I, I used to think that by destroying other universes, I would, was just making more space for myself to create masterpieces, but I realize now I was just taking up space that could belong to other creators. Maybe instead of destroying worlds, I should focus on making new ones. Yeah, that sounds yeah, like a great idea. That's pretty good. You can even help make the existing ones better. Maybe so. I gotta think about this. 
Yeah, I mean, no, don't rush into anything. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mull this over for a couple thousand years, okay? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but listen, cool. if, also, if you need to talk about it, you, you know where to find us. Yeah, if okay. you want to you grab breakfast anytime, let us know. That'd be real nice. Here's my number. He gives you um, an infinite scroll of numbers. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll <laughs> have this. Thank you so much for helping me. You're all free to go. Please enjoy the wonderful universe that you have helped to create. And as it says this, uh, the wall of Porflings collapses. You see their residue falls through the hole in the world like a waterfall of milk. Ew. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of gross. Yeah, it's pretty gross. On the other side, you see Francis, Daryl, and the others staring at you through the portal. They're shocked but ecstatic, and they'll kind of wave. Uh, and as they're waving, Bingus zips itself back into its Porfo shell, closes its eyes, and <sighs> blows you all with a gust from its mighty cheeks back towards the portal. And the force of this blow also causes Bingus to be pushed deeper into space. Now contained in this sleeping Porfo shell, you see Porfo fading deeper and deeper into space towards a small blue and green planet. Uh-oh. And as... <laughs> Whoa. <Uh-oh. laughs> That's probably fine. Oh, don't, don't smash into it. <laughs> and as Bingus the Undoing becomes a speck in the distance, you land once more on solid ground and are greeted by a raucous cheering on all sides. Dad's high five, Dennis and Pugilax dance, Paul Blart nods proudly, and Daryl and Francis make out super fucking hard. Nice. Eventually, they all kind of walk over to you Francis smiles, but his eyes are filled with guilt and shame. Hey, thank you so much for your help. I, I know I can never fully repay you for what I've put through, but I'd like to try. I deck Francis. Oh! <laughs> I, I was getting ready to do that. <laughs> I give you him to do it this time, Rox. I give him a dead leg. <laughs> oh, jeez. God, fuck. Rox, get in here. <laughs> Ah, Daryl, help me out. Get one in. No, oh, man, I really appreciate you saving me, but like you knew this was coming. <laughs> we all get one, Rocks. Come on. Uh, now it just feels like bullying. <laughs> join in. Give him a wedgie. <laughs> uh, uh, wet Willie. Uh, I wanted to be the first. You know what? It's fine. <laughs> I guess. I guess I now, come on, Rocks, to get in here. Just give me one, please. <sighs> to be decked by Rocks, it would be an honor that I would tell my grandchildren about. I try to do one of those things where you just kind of like rub the knuckles against, you know, the the chin, except I I do just wind up punching him (laughs) really hard. (laughs) He flies like 30 feet. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You see Daryl goes over to him and just tins to his wounds uh, and they kind of, you know, nuzzle together. Oh, that's nice. Seems like everything's going to be okay. Then Daryl comes over to you and says... Yeah, thanks so much for uh, rescuing me from the void of non-existence. Uh, that's really chill of you. Uh, yeah, I mean, we didn't we didn't mean to. I, if if yeah. Francis had been honest with us, I <laughs> think we might have agreed to do it anyway. But who is this? <laughs> it's Daryl the Goblin. Nice to meet you. Oh, cool. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, Francis is a bit uh, circuitous in his logic sometimes. You know, I'm kind of the thinker. He's just the money behind the operation. But God, I love him all the same. You know. I mean, he did put together this whole elaborate quest just to make sure that our souls were linked, so he really cares about you. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. And I'd really like to help uh, Francis repay the favor to you, so how about how about we buy you all a drink? Hey! <laughs> yeah! That'd be great. That's, God, I'm, that's I can really we, use one. Yeah! Right <laughs> I don't drink, but I'll take a soda. <laughs> you can have... All the fucking soda you want. All Here, right. uh, Daryl hands you a pill. This is a prototype we've been working on. Uh, infinite soda pill. Just don't drink it all at once. Nice. <laughs> How? <laughs> There's a tiny straw. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you all head over to the Hungry Goat Bar and Grill. You see old baby Gus is waiting for you. He's got drinks laid out already. The old man orcs in the corner put on some music. It's really fucking bopping in here. Nice. And yeah, you all just kind of come in. Your dads are here. You're all partying, just finally having that drink that you deserve. Roxy, you see Demon Johnny walks over to you, uh, and he says, Roxy, it was so good to see you again. Unfortunately, you know that I can't stay in this form for much longer. My soul only exists in this realm because it's tied to yours. Yeah. Yeah, it's a weird demon thing. I don't really get it either. It's some weird demon bullshit. My cousin, you know how it is. Yeah, totally. I'm, you know, half halfway there. I gotcha. I'm just, I'm just happy we got some time, you know, 
That's that's cool. Sometimes better than no time. Indeed. I'll treasure this as I hold your treasure. His form begins to glow and shift, and he transforms not into a pauldron, but into a nice little wallet-sized skull. Aww. That you can carry around with you forever. Now I'll be even closer to your heart. I I can put him in my little like vest chest pocket mm-hmm. so that he can still watch everything exactly. that I'm looking at. You could also put him in your butt pocket though, for like a goof. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> Capital goof. Yeah. <laughs> brilliant cousin. Brilliant. Thanks, thanks, Johnny. Sandwiches for everyone. Yay! Oh, I'm gonna miss that guy. <laughs> uh, sandwiches and anime from the '90s start spilling out <laughs> of Demon Johnny <laughs> like confetti, <laughs> and it is a fucking party in here. Uh, old baby Gus throws on some anime, so it's kind of like the vibe of when you do karaoke and there's just anime playing for no reason. Oh, yeah, nice. I love that vibe. Hell yeah. Uh, the music starts kicking up. So Tiffany is also here. Uh, she bought you all shots, um, and you lift them up. Hey, it's Camp Pelor. Yeah. Yeehaw, let's get drunk. Are there drugs in these shots? <laughs> Normal. <laughs> That's not an answer. Normal drugs. <laughs> you toss them back. Nope. Uh, I'll drop to a knee and offer a quick prayer to Pelor. I feel compelled. <laughs> oh, they're prayer drugs. <laughs> Neat. She goes to order uh, more shots for all of you, but then she gets a call from her boyfriend Eustace, uh, and she steps outside to take that. And then you guys get back to the party proper. Uh, you see that... Francis and Daryl are walking in. Um, Francis is actually riding on Bone Ricar now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Glad Bone Ricar is getting some yeah. use. <laughs> yeah, I can't feel my legs. I, I think I'll be fine, but this is really helpful for right now. Yeah, you deserved it. And I was actually talking with these guys. You know, I just, I love Jonathan the Bone Staff's goofs and jokes and puns so much. Uh, I think he's a real team player. And Bone Ricar, I mean, just look at him. Transport. Yeah. Good attitude. I get it. These two are hard workers. We would love for them to come join me and Daryl uh, on our next project. Oh, wow. Is that okay? I mean, Jonathan, Bone Ricard, is that is that what you guys want? I want someone who appreciates me <laughs> and, well, what I, and what I bring. Yeah, that's not me, no. I think, as we've established. <laughs> you're um, a tough room. You're yeah. a tough room, Rygina, <laughs> and, you know, it's important to get your chops, but sometimes you just want that easy laugh. Absolutely. Hey, hey Jonathan. Yes? If you come work for me, we'll give you... Skull benefits. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. This is if I do a really good job, will I get a bonus? <laughs> <laughs> My man. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. You, you guys belong together. <laughs> you absolutely have my blessing. Yeah, you see um, they go off into a corner and start uh, planning out their next moves for their new business ventures. And you all toast a drink. Hey, cheers. Cheers. Hey, guys. Let's never talk about any of this ever again. <laughs> I would love nothing more than that. <laughs> I don't remember half of this. So. I'm just saying we we'll probably have other adventures that we go on. Maybe uh, let's just let's just never bring any of this stuff into that. You know, keep moving forward. Yeah, kind you know, of thing. I I totally agree. We can't get stuck in the past. Right. Love you. Love you guys. Love you too. Clink. So you all clink a glass. Uh, Roxa clinks her t- <laughs> tiny infinite soda pill. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you see all your dads walk over. Uh, oh, hey, dads. Hey. Hey, Legsy. How you doing? Um, Honestly, all things considered, pretty good, I guess. Yeah. yeah that was really impressive. Y'all really held your own back there. Yeah. Yeah, great work, kiddo. Real proud of you. Yeah, thanks, Dad. <laughs> Roxa, you, you did amazing work, hon, and- you know, I love you however you are, but golly, it was great watching you beat the shit out of that demon. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Uh, come here. They all give you big hugs. Uh, and as you're hugging and, and sharing drinks and like just kind of laughing with your dads, so you see Quadzo kind of uh, steps out and addresses all three of you. <laughs> okay, so now that things are back to normal, have you girls figured out what you're going to do for your summer jobs yet? Uh... uh... And that's where we'll end our story. Woo! What a nice sitcom ending. Freeze <laughs> frame, credits roll. <laughs> oh, wow. We did it. That's it a drug. We saved the world, guys. You saved the world? You made a god better. We made a god better, mm-hmm. and yeah. we solved a mystery of a murder that didn't even happen. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Best kind of murder. A net zero. <laughs> uh, and you doomed Earth to uh, the plague of Porpho. Totally. Yeah, Earth was already kind of doomed. Yeah, fair enough. 
Uh, let us know in the comments below if you ever thought we were going to finish Draga. <laughs> <laughs> it's been several years in the making. Mm -hmm. We worked on it nonstop for three years. <laughs> so we hope you appreciate it. But seriously, thank you all so, so much for sticking with it. If you haven't already, fucking watch Draw Detectives. Because that is like the good shit that's happening now, and it's awesome. And if you're still craving more Draga, go ahead and head over to dropout.tv, because I believe by the time that this is airing, there will be an all-new Draga series on Dropout for you to watch. It'll either be there or be on the way. Coming soon. Yeah. Or there now. Get your asses <laughs> who, who ready. Who knows? There's so much... Other stuff we still need to do to finish these episodes. Get your ass in a quantum <laughs> state of preparation. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Well, Y'all, this was so good. Congratulations. Yeah, Caldwell. thanks, Caldwell. Thanks. We had a great time. Thanks I hope you had a good time. Taking us on this adventure. I love taking my friends on adventures. It's like hanging out with your friends, except maybe they could die. <laughs> <laughs> Caldwell, fantastic work, as yeah. always. Thank you, uh, especially for Draga. And just you know, DMing it and doing all the all the work for it. Thank you. Of course, uh, it was worth it to hear your laughs and see your smiles. But before we say we're sorry, it wouldn't be a story without a little post credits, now would it? Ooh, Ooh nice, baby. So as you carry on with your revelry deep into the night, Francis and Daryl and Bone Ricard and Jonathan the Bone Staff head back to the ruined observatory on Clemix Mountain. They pile the last of the dimensional gateway technology into a huge heap in the corner, and after moving a safe distance away, the goblins grasp both ends of a plunging device and detonate the pile. As the flaming arcane debris rains down around them, they share a kiss and begin to talk about their next project. And just then, thousands of miles away, on a busy street, in the heart of the city called Porphopolis, a small crack appears. <gasps> Ooh. The end. Nice. Yeah. The end? The Plus. end? Ooh. We're sorry? <laughs> <laughs> we are sorry. Oh, we're so sorry. Thank you all so much. Good night. Sorry. 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 Hey, thanks for watching that episode of Drawfee. If you like Drawfee and the stuff we make, the best way to support us is by signing up for Dropout. For around the cost of a jug of mouthwash a month, you get access to Drawfee episodes a week early, as well as a exclusive Dropout Discord where you can chat with me. And you get access to the Dropout exclusive shows like Cartoon Hell, I Made That Show, Um Actually, which I was on, and Rank Room, which I was also on. It's a good time. Start your free trial. Go to dropout.tv. Please. Please. <laughs>